Hey, what's up guys? What's up? It's your boy Rosie, the rascal, 1-5 here, and today, I don't know why I'm talking like this, I sound like an anime announcer. What's up everyone, Rosie the Rascal 15 here, and today we're going to be playing Vampire Savior, aka Darkstalkers 3, one of Capcom's long forgotten arcade fighting game classics, and a franchise that I would like to see come back, okay Capcom? Um, I think we've had a lot of Street Fighters and Resident Evils, it's time that you bring back some franchises like Power Stone, Darkstalkers, Dino Crisis, and one of the most underrated horror games you ever made called Haunting Ground. They, they made a lot of great games, Capcom, back in the day, and I just don't know why they don't want to make any more of those sequels to those franchises. You know, it's kind of like Nintendo, where they don't want to make sequels to Star Fox, or we're still waiting for Metroid Prime 4. Anyways, what's up everyone? Rousey the Rascal, what vibe here? Today I am doing a, uh, what, do you, what do you call it, like a remake slash... Redo? I know what you're saying. Rosie, uh, what's with this screen here? What, what are we playing today? Well, like I said, we are playing Vampire Savior, aka Darkstalkers 3. It's made by Capcom, as you can see there. Uh, this is actually a game from 1997. It is a really good fighting game, and I'll be quiet and I'll let this intro rock. So y'all can hear it. Vampire Savior, the Lord of Vampire. I know, I just added that. Uh, yes, this is actually called Darkstalkers 3. I don't know why it's called Vampire Savior. I think it's because in Japan, this series is called Vampire. Yes, that's actually the name of the game, um, which is really stupid. Honestly, Darkstalkers sounds way better than Vampire. As you can see, it's an old classic fighting game from Capcom back in the 90s, you know. It looks a lot like Street Fighter, and that's because, well, I'll be honest with you, it plays a lot like Street Fighter. Um, I don't know if it's made by the same creators, but this is a damn good fighting game. It's got some of the funnest mechanics I've played in any... Cap I mean, it's a Capcom fighting game. They're all really good, you know. Some of y'all might have recognized that, you know, Naked Lady uh, in the beginning of the game. Where it was, uh, you know, the Naked Lady with green hair. Anyways, that's Morgan. Uh, I think her name is Morgan Ainslin. She's supposed to be a succubus. And if you don't know what a succubus is, it's supposed to be a demon that, like tries to have sex with you in exchange for your soul so yeah you gave it coitus and it takes your soul it seems like a fair deal right you know all you know you give she wants sex from you and she ruins your life sounds like a lot of marriages anyways um that was a really dark joke anyways um yes i have played this game already on my channel and i know what you're saying rosie didn't you already play this and where's the video that you played this yes i actually had to um I'll be honest with you, I deleted it because I want to redo this, and don't worry, I won't delete this playthrough, I promise. I'm just doing this because I felt like I could have played this better, and you know what? I'm probably not going to play this any better, but you know what? I'm going to give you guys some really fun commentary, and what all... Look, I'm just really excited, guys. I can't even talk right now. I fucking love this game, and it makes me mad that Capcom hasn't brought back this series. I love this series. I want it to come back. The only thing that they've done with Darkstalkers is just put Morgan and Marvel vs. Capcom and like Capcom vs. SNK and that character Jetta, did you just see him there? He was that creepy looking vampire guy with the long fingernails at the end. Um, they put him in Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite and to me that's really disappointing because you know Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite wasn't that great of a game. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm going to be doing an arcade playthrough of this game, everyone. Uh, I'm going to be playing as Morgan, aka the green-haired succubus that's actually Scottish. One of my fans actually told me that she's Scottish. You know, for the longest time, I thought she was Irish, but she's Scottish. I'm sure it's a common mistake. Uh, don't get offended if you're Irish or Scottish. I don't mean to offend you. I just think that they can sound similar, okay? I just think they sound very similar. Just don't get mad. It's the truth. All right. I've talked long enough, I dilly dally long enough everyone, I'm going to be playing this game. Oh, and by the way, I am playing this with still my POS broken PS4 controller. Now, I have a story for this controller, I'm just going to share it real quick and then I'll get started with this playthrough. This PS4 controller was donated to me by a guy that I bought a bunch of games off of uh, the marketplace on uh, Facebook. 
and all random just he sold it to me i mean excuse me he sold it to me he just threw it in for free he's like oh you can have it it doesn't really work well i kind of got it to work by like you know messing around with it but here's the thing the analog stick just doesn't really work that well so if you guys see me messing up some moves it's not me sucking at the game it's because i'm playing with a broken analog stick if i push the analog stick up i know what you're saying rosie why the hell are you playing with a broken controller well i want to challenge myself i'm playing with a bro i just want to show you that i could beat this game even with a broken controller and also just to show that guy that gave me this controller that he thought it was a piece of shit controller he's like i don't want it i was gonna smash it no joke he told me he was gonna smash it I'm like, you know what? I'll take the controller off your hands, man. So I got this free controller. It doesn't really work. But anyways, I've talked long enough. I'll shut up everyone. Let's get started with Dark Stalker Street, a.k.a. Vampire Savior, the Lord of Vampire. Let's put our credits in. Let's do this, everyone. That sounded really terrifying. I, I am playing this off the Capcom Arcade Second Stadium. It's available on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch and PC. I'll put a link down in the description. Um, a link down in the description to what, to buy the game? Well, you guys, I'm sure you can find this game just by typing in, what can I buy this game on? It's on Capcom Arcade Stadium, excuse me, Capcom Second Arcade Stadium, and it's off the Capcom Fighting Game Collection. Anyways, let's do this. Hell yeah, I love this character select screen music. So these are all the characters, as you can see, they're kind of based on like universal monsters. Like there's the mummy, there's like a Red Riding Hood, there's some bee chick, some, I don't know, some lady that works at Panda Express, some Succubus. There's a, I don't know, a Alice in Chains, I don't know, and then Sasquatch. And then there's Morgan, which I'm gonna be playing as. There's a lot of cool characters. Basically they're based on like universal monsters. You know, you have like, Succubuses, uh, bee monsters, you know, samurai, undead samurais, mummies, Frankenstein's monster, vampires, you know, a bunch of werewolves, you know, just, yeah. All right, here we go, everyone. Let's do this. Our first opponent is Lord Raptor. All right, here we go. I'm gonna suck. All right, I've got it. Oh. Soul Fist, Soul Fist. By the way, I love the soundtrack to this game. It's got an outstanding soundtrack, if you ask me. Shadow Braid. Look at her voice. Listen to her voice. Selfish. 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 So yeah, if you're familiar with Street Fighter, um, it's a lot like Street Fighter. Again, I do recommend this game. It's super, really, super, really, super, really good. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Oh my god. Hey, 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 hey. Whoa. Hands off the merchandise, man. Akuno, you're a Matadas. Shit, man. All right, let's do this. Yeah! Hell yeah, let's go! Woo, let's go, I'm having so much fun. Woo, get out of here! Yo, oh, let's fucking go, man! Damn, Morgan's pretty hot. I mean, I go out with her, but you know, she's a succubus, so I don't know. Oh, I enjoyed abusing you, care to try it again? No, I don't. I don't like it. That's fucked up. I don't want you to abuse me. What kind, if you're into an, if you're into relationships that involve abuse, seek help. All right. All right. Now we're fighting the undead uh, Chinese lady ghost thing. I don't know what she is. Don't correct me in the comments. Shadow Braid. Oh shit. Shadow Braid. Ah, I'm kicking ass. Oh shit. Spoke too soon. Eat that shit. Nope, she's not falling for everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, she's like, oh god, I just got it. Oh my god, look at the little uh, Looney Tunes things. What do you call that? Like when the little Tweety Birds are around your head? Huh. What? She just hit me with that gong. Did you see that shit? She reflected my soul fist with her gong. That sounded dirty, I don't know why. Anyways, let's, uh, okay, I'll shut up guys, I'll concentrate. Huh. No, out of here, lady. Shadow Braid. Shadow Braid. Ah! Die, lady, die! Get out of here. Get wrecked, sister. Holy mo man, Morgan? I, I mean, guys, I mean, don't fall for it. She's a succubus. I know she's really cute, but... Night was created for adults. You should go home now, kid. Uh, I don't think she's a kid. I think, I, I mean, she looks like an undead ghost. I mean, for all I know, she could probably be older than you. I don't think ghosts age. I mean, I'm not... What am I talking about? Oh, shut up, everyone. All right, now we're finding Bishimon. Let's do this! Oh shit. Shit balls. 
Soul Fist. Soul Fist. Get out of here. Damn it. Oh. Ah! Asshole. Shadow Braid. Oh! Oh, man, he dodged it. Oh, get out of here, sir! Get the hell out of here. Oh, my God, he cut me. No! Asshole. Mm, he's pissing me off, everyone. God damn it. It's not fair. He's got a fucking sword, and I have, like, bats. Actually, that might be even worse. Get out of here, sir. Get out of here. Oh, God. Yes. Whito. Ah, eat that soul fist. Oh my god, no, no. Oh god. What the hell was that? Shit. Okay, guys, I'm gonna zone him out here. Wish me luck. I'm gonna play this like it's Marvel vs. Capcom. Oh god, stop playing like that, everyone. God damn it. God damn it! Oh, get out! Get the hell out of here. Shit. All right, well, I gotta play it safe here, okay? I'm playing it safe. No! Get out of here, you undead samurai. You think I'm scared of you? Because I am. Son of a bitch. No! God, he's... Get out. I said... Get the hell out of here. No! Get out. Nope, I can... Ah! Finally got him, everyone. Now she's dressed up. Look at the doggo! Look at the doggo in the corner! Maybe I should have given you a hint. Maybe next time. By the way, that's my shitty, like, Scottish impression. I'm trying to do, like, a seductive Scottish voice. I don't know. I'm sure somebody out there has that kink. Like, oh, I've always wanted Rosie to do a Scottish voice. I'm sure that's nobody. I'm sure nobody's been thinking of that. I just make that shit up. Okay, now I'm fighting uh, the Abominable Snowman. I'm fighting that thing from the, the third Mummy movie. Remember when there was Yetis in the third Mummy movie? The one with Brandon Fraser? Oh, God. Let's not talk about that. By the way, I love the Mummy franchise. That's a really good series. You know, at least the first two. And then the third one sucked ass. And it's not because of Brandon Fraser. It's just because it was an awful movie. You know, it had an awful script. Anyways, I'm getting distracted. Let's focus on the fight. Eyes on the prize, eyes on the prize. Shit. What? Excuse me? Oh my. Get the. Dude. Dude! How did that miss? No! Ah! You ass. Ugh. No! Oh, I'm scared, everyone. I'm scared. No! I might lose this fight if I'm not careful. Mother! Son of a... No! I'm scared. Everyone, I'm scared. I'm scared. Get out. He's falling for it. Oh my god, it's working. Oh my god, are you bullshitting me? Did you see that nonsense? I, turned, I just turned Scottish there. Did you see that nonsense? The fucking snowman looking guy just killed me when I could have killed him. I'll stop doing that voice around. I don't know what the hell I'm trying to do there. It's so awful. So I'm sure everybody from from Scotland is getting offended. They're probably unsubscribing right now from my channel for doing that awful impression. Uh, same character. You know what? I'm going to use the same character, but guess what? I'm going to switch your colors. That's right. I'm going to switch colors. Look at this. Want to see this? Bam. We got dark violet with blonde hair, Morgan. I don't know. Whatever you want to call that color. I was trying to think of a name there, but I don't know. She looks cute with blonde hair, doesn't she, everyone? Just, you know, mine's the part where she'll take her soul. All right, here we go. Let's do this. Okay, this time, no bullshitting around, everyone. We're just going to do it. We're just going to do it. Oh, God. I think I'm doing good so far. Oh, God. I spoke too soon. 
Shadow Braid. No! Got him. Okay, get out of here. I'm sorry if I'm really quiet, everyone. I'm really quiet. I'm sorry. Oh my god, no, you mother... Mother trucker! Oh my god, he just shot like a freaking Shinko Hadouken out of his mouth. He did the Kamehameha wave out of his mouth. Oh god. Look at this shit! Has he been training with Master Roshi? What is this shit? Oh my god. No, okay, you know what? You know what, sir? You know what? I'm gonna get it. Oh god, oh god. Okay, I gotta concentrate everyone. Don't you do it again! Don't you freaking do it again, man. Look at him! Ah! Oh, I hate you. I hate you, Sasquatch! Getting killed by... It's that thing that from the Empire Strikes Back. What's it called, though? The Wookiees? Not the Wookiees. Uh, wow, I forgot what they're fucking called. You know the thing from the Empire Strikes Back that almost killed Luke? Killed his uh, Tauntaun? What the hell were those things called? No! I'm scared. I'm gonna zone him out. Play it safe. Yeah! Wampas. That's what they were called. They were called Wampas. Those things from Empire... That's what he looks like. He looks like a Wampa from the Empire Strikes Back. Young men tend to use force. Don't be ashamed. I like it. Whoa, Morgan. Hey. You should say no means no. If a guy's using force, hell no. You slap him and you tell him to take a cab home, okay? He's obviously had too much to drink. Oh, now we're finding the really attractive cat lady. By the way, she's supposed to be a nun, if I'm not mistaken. I'm sure Nacho Libre would have a crush on her. If anybody got that joke, you're awesome. By the way, the train has a goddamn mouth. Look at that. Why does the train have a mouth? Who's the architecture on that shit? Look at that guy. Is that the conductor? Look at him. It's a skeleton. Excuse me. I just burped. Well, I'm glad that was caught on camera. Holy shit, cat lady. By the way, how the hell is he smoking a cigarette or a cigar? He's got no fucking lungs, he's a skeleton. All right, I'm thinking too hard about this game. I'm thinking about the conductor who's a skeleton smoking. All right, shit. No, get out of here, cat lady. Get out of here, attractive cat lady. No! Oh my God, no, I'm scared of everyone. Actually, I'm not scared of her. I'm actually more... I'm actually very turned on with her, but, you know. I'm sure if anybody has, like, a Neko fetish, you probably, you know... I'm sure this is hitting every bell. Oh, you know what? It's time to bring out my twins. Bring the twins out. Oh, oh God. Get out. Get out, cat lady. Ah, get out, I said, shit. Woo, nice, anti-air there. Oh, shit, nope. No! Shadow Braid. Shadow Braid, oh, shit. Okay, you know what? No! Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God, yeah! Get out of here, cat lady. I enjoyed abusing you. Care to try it again? No! Mo Morgan, this is... I'm really concerned with her commentary, guys. I'm really... Oh, we're almost at the final boss. Jetta. By the way, fun fact, the voice actor for Jetta in this game does the voice of Jin Kazama in Tekken. Even to this day, he's still voicing Jin Kazama. Just share that little fun fact with you. So this is Jin's voice actor from Tekken. I'm not making that shit up, guys. Look it up if you don't believe me. Oh my god. What the hell's up with this level, by the way? Look at the background. My god, there's a... There's literally a baby fetus in the background. My god. You know, this is a rated teen game, but damn, does it really push that teen rating. This is some pretty messed up. This is... I mean, there's M-rated games I played that don't have as much disturbing shit as this game. Holy moly. I'm sorry if I'm cussing a lot, everyone. I'm sure my... 
You know, I'm sure like if this was a Roblox server, everybody would be real disappointed right now. This I was trying to make this a Christian channel, but I'm just joking everyone. I'm just joking. Ugh. I'm trolling everyone, I'm trolling. Oh god. Oh no. No! Get up. Get the hell out of here, sir. Get the No! Oh my god, are you serious? I know I'm playing like a five year on, but that's kind of heavy to play. Yeah, you have to play like that against the AI. If not, you know, you won't stand a chance. Well, that sucked. Oh my. Lord have mercy. No. No. Okay. Get the hell out of here. By the way, I might lose this fight. This fight is actually bullshit, by the way. This is a very difficult fight in the game. Look at how much damage he does to me, but look at how much damage I do him. It's not fair. He does more damage to me, but not the other way around, you know? Ah, uh, no! Oh, he missed. You missed, sucker. You missed, Jetta. Oh, God. No! He might kill me here. Damn! Oh, my God! He split me in half. That is fucking brutal. He split me in half, everyone. A poet's trouble comes from meeting with eternal darkness. Yeah, 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 man. All right. I mean, you such a such an edge lord. Even in tech engine's kind of like an edge lord too. So, eh, I guess it's fitting. Same character? Uh, yes, but well, no. Yes, but no. Does that make sense? I'm gonna switch my colors again. Hell yeah! Look at that color. All right, Morgan's wearing red now. It's the color of blood. <laughs> no. You mother. No. Oh my god, that combo though. No. I hate him so much, everyone. I hate him. Oh my. Lord have mercy. This guy cheats a lot. He cheats a lot. Well, he hit me out of my super. That's nice. No! Guys, if I'm real quiet, I again, I apologize. It's just... What? How did that miss? Excuse me? Finally. No! I hate you! No! Son of a- God! He's pissing me off everyone. Jedi, I'm not- No! Just gotta play it safe everyone. Just gotta play it safe. No! Oh god, no, I'm nervous. God damn it. He just split me in half and took my soul. Damn, it's pretty brutal. Hypocrisy? No, it's not. There's no good or evil. Uh, I'm calling bullshit. There is good and evil. Because without good, there wouldn't be evil. And without evil, there's no... I mean, you can be neutral, Jetta, but there is good and evil. I mean, like if... Whatever, you know what? I'm not convinced. I'm talking to this game like it's my counselor. Come on, what, what am I talking about? What am I talking about, Aaron? All right, we're switching colors again. Switching colors. Ooh, I like that color. I got purple hair. It's not really purple, actually. It's like a, a what, like indigo? I don't know. My female audience would probably school me in the colors. Sophus. Shit. Yes! Come on, come on. Let's go, Jetta. Let's go, Jetta. God damn that combo. Mm. Mm. 
What? Excuse me? Such a cheater. He's such a cheater, everyone. I'm dead. No. That's it. Oh my god, look at that. Oh my god, you can see my insides. God, that's brutal. It's a brutal game. This game is brutal. Even though it's a rated teen game, it does have gore, which I'm really surprised. You don't really see that in too many rated teen games. Alright, uh, yeah, I guess I'll keep the same color. Come on, everyone. I got this. I can do this. Oh. Okay, I'm just going to play like a fire reel. How about that? What if I just... No skill required. Look at this. Oh, God. God damn it. Mm. All right, all right. All right, let's do this. God almighty. No, get up. Oh my God, I'm nervous, everyone. You have no idea. Get out, Jetta. <clears throat> yes. Get out. I say. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's how it's done, everyone. That is how it's done. That's not even the final boss. I thought you would amuse me. Yes, I was wrong. I don't know why I said it like that. I put a lot of emphasis on the wrong there. Okay, I don't know how this lady's gonna sound. Her name's Lilith. But I don't know how she's gonna sound, everyone. So I'll do it with my own voice. As I expected, Jedi lied to me. He tried to chain me into the darkness again. And I really wanted to see you. Yes, you. You and me belong together. You have my body. Except you have really giant tits and I'm flat chested. All right, oh, shut up. Seriously, I mean, Morgan's like easily like a C cup and Lilith is like an A minus cup. Come on, everyone, come on. How would you have the same body? You have, maybe you got curves, but you don't got my, my bus. You don't have my bus. No, you don't have my bus, Lilith, sorry. Do this. Just gotta play like a five-year-old, everyone. By the way, I hope everyone's having a great day. No! Solve this. No! Oh, she's cheating, everyone. God damn it. Solve this. Got her with a shadow braid. Wow. Come on, come on. She blocked it nice. No! Ah! Ah! Get out of here, Lilith. No, sister, no! Holy shit, she's doing it. She took me to the Shadow Realm. Where's Yu-Gi-Oh at? No! Shadow Braid. Yeah, baby, first try. First try, let's go. I only wanted to have a body to live in. 
by the way, that gratuitous ass shot. Just want to say, you want this body, don't you? Or is that Morgan talking? You want this body, don't you? You need me. Oh my God, look at that. Uh, uh, all right, then come inside me now. I, I swear, this gets my channel taken down uh, YouTube. I swear, this is a rated team game. It's not, this is not a hentai, okay? I swear to God, game. I swear to God, YouTube and the algorithm, this is not a hentai. Ah, oh, I feel new inside. Everything looks different. The world looks so beautiful. I feel like I can do anything. Is it all because of that girl? Look at my flying. It isn't wonderful, is it not? Alright, I'll shut up everyone. I'll, I'm sorry, that is such an awful voice. Hope everyone liked my awful Morgan impression. I mean, she's Scottish, that's how she sounds, I mean. By the way, uh, I love this game. I know it sounds like I was making fun of it, and I know I was trolling a little, but look. All bullshitting aside, everyone, I had a ton of fun playing this game. This is a fantastic fighting game. Do I recommend it? Hell yes. If you're a fighting game fan, especially if you're a Capcom fighting game fan, you know, you like Street Fighter, you like a lot of the classic Capcom fighting games that, you know, this is one you haven't played yet, I highly recommend playing Darkstalkers. If you are a Street Fighter fan, you're going to freaking love this game. If you have not played this game already. If you have already played this game, then I don't, it, you know, it's just like, you know, pre preaching to the choir here. I mean, I don't need to tell you how good this game is. Um, this is probably the best fighting game Capcom has ever made and I think this is probably their most underrated fighting game. I don't think I'd be going too far by saying that but this is their most underrated fighting game. Um, honestly from a scale of 1 to 10 I would give this game a solid like realistically I give it like a 9 out of 10. I think my only like small gripe is that I kind of wish there was a little more of like and this is going to be a weird complaint but I just kind of wish there was a little more characters. I mean not that the game doesn't have a good roster but I just kind of wish there was you know I just wish there was another Darkstalkers. I would like to see more characters and, you know, just, I don't know. I mean, it's just, it, it pisses me off. I live in a world where we have like 25 different Street Fighters and we only have three Darkstalkers games. Call me a Darkstalkers fanboy, but I love this series. And I'm sure a lot of y'all after watching this video probably want to check out the series. And yes, again, you can play this on Capcom Arcade Second Stadium and Capcom Fighting Collection and they both released in 2022 last year and they're available on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch and PC so yes and I know you heard me right everyone it is on Nintendo Switch because I know a lot of my fans out there have Nintendo Switches but may not have PlayStations or Xboxes or PCs you can take this on the go so yeah I recommend getting this on Switch if you have the option I was playing this on PlayStation 4 all right everyone uh, this has been your boy Rosa the Rascal 15. Hope you liked my uh, playthrough of Dark Stalkers 3. I had a ton of fun. This was my second time playing it. I did play it before, but like I said, I took down that video because I wanted to do this better, and I feel like I did it better. And holy shit, give me a big shout out! I played this with a broken controller. I actually managed to beat this game with a broken controller. Holy, that is amazing. But yeah, uh, Dark Stalkers 3. Loved it. Had a great time with it. I recommend it. Absolutely fun fighting game. No complaints, like I said. So yeah, uh, anyways, have a great summer, everyone. Hopefully y'all are, are enjoying your summer. Hopefully, you know, you're staying hydrated. Stay indoors as much as you can. Or if you're out there, make sure you're staying hydrated. Hope you're having fun, you know, maybe you're swimming. You're doing some fun outdoor activities. Anyways, have fun, everyone. God bless. This has been your boy, Rosa the Rascal 15, and I am signing out. And I'll see you guys in the next Rosa the Rascal 15 video. Take care, everyone. God bless.